by Oka. Okay. So what you're gonna need are whisk, flour, cornmeal. We need to in Italian. Yeah, like Italian. Spice, dobo, garlic powder, buttermilk, and eggs. So you're going to have to cut your okra up, put the buttermilk and the egg together, and soak your okra in the buttermilk and the egg mixture. We already did that because you got to let the okra sit. So we already did that. We're going to show you what it looks like. That's the egg. Okay. In the buttermilk. Okay. With the okra. Now we have the flour and the cornmeal in the bag. And you got to mix it around. You got to season it. Yes, we season everything that can have taste. So first you're going to put the red cayenne pepper. If you want it spicy. If you don't, you don't have to. Put it in. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you want spicy. And the dobo. Look at the honey top. And onion powder. <laughs> okay. You need that flavor. Girl, I don't want to have bad breath. <laughs> I'm going to shake it around. And we got these seasonings from Walmart. And her tea to have it. Okay. So now that we showed you these seasonings, we're going to mold, mold them so you can see what, what we're going to do. <laughs> hmm. The whisk, we needed the whisk to do the buttermilk and the egg. So we did that already. Oh, yeah. So now, I'm going to turn my oil on because you need the oil. So I'm going to turn it on so it's getting hot. Ignore that bugging noise. Fire bug. So now we need. I don't know, like mess size. I hate it. <laughs> That's nice. What is this called? A. What? What is it called? Utensil? Yeah. Take the some spoon. Utensil. I don't know what it's called. So we're going to take some of the okra mixture out of here. What is this? You need this one? Oops. And put it in. AJ wanted fried okra. She just. Because it's good. <laughs> Okay. So I said, why not? Mm -hmm. Before I put more, I just want flour on all of them. Mix it in. Mix it around. Let's get all the flour. And then, you want to get another bowl. I don't want another bowl. I'm going to put that in. Okay. What, when I take it to dry it, when there's no yeah. flour already? Yeah. I don't need a bowl. I can get, you can give me that. Mm -hmm. And now you want to get like something like a surface to lay it on. We got a, a cutting board. Yeah, they are feeling good. And okra is good and it's good for you. It's a healthy vegetable. An omega vegetable. So we made this another way last time. We didn't have the liquid mixture, we just did it with flour. And, and it was corn, okay. And corn, but yeah. the flour didn't stick to it. Like I wanted it to, so oops, just gonna use my hand. You gotta get it in. You gotta get in there. We also go to one napkin. Well, that's for the. Let me take it out the oil. Okay. For your hand. Make sure it's all coated. You want it nice coat. And make sure you wash your hands. Yes, yeah. yeah. please wash your hands. Before you make sure you soak it in like this buttermilk and then soak, soak it, it in. for like five or ten minutes. It don't take long and it's a healthy well, kind of frying it. <laughs> but okra is good. 
And Oprah is in season right now. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Oprah's kind of reminds me of squash and zucchini. Really? Just slimy. Uh -huh. Slimy. Mm -hmm. Oh, put the egg mixture in there. Just slimy. Just slimy. Gonna get a little dirty. Can you get all of that? You got like a few. Oh, get all of them out. Jeez, I'm gonna be here all day. <laughs> you can't find anything. Yeah, like who is that? A ghost? Jeez, come on, Oprah. Come on, Oprah. <laughs> This is a very southern dish. Sure. It yeah, is. It is. Guys, you want to put them in here so we can be finished with this? I'm so over here. I want to make fried Oreos. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, fine. We might, yeah, that's going to be our next one. Goodbye. Yeah, that's so good and I made them before. Did you hear this ghost? That's not my thing. Okay, guys, I hear my oil back there. I hear it, girl. It's popping. <laughs> it is popping. It's just on and popping. Yeah. I hear that oil. It is saying, come on with the Oprah. Okay. I just want to show you how to oh. coat it. You guys, we made croissants yesterday. I mean, today, earlier. It was good. What did I make? Huh? Let me show you how this is coated. Let me see. Coat it. Now I'm going to put it in the fire. Then I'm going to bring you my hands. Yeah, we're going to clean our hands and then I'm going to bring you towards the stove. Sprout it. I'm the camera girl back here. I don't want to overcrowd the pan. Yeah, so put a little bit by like a time. Yep, and we're going to use also. This thing that we need to be clean. Yeah, we're gonna clean off the egg and all that stuff. Okay. Let's make this up our room. And you're gonna place it on medium heat. Once it gets hot. Once it gets hot, you're gonna be multitasking. When you cook it, you gotta move them around when they start getting brown. Just move them around so they can get brown on both sides. I hope y'all can hear me. Yes, I this is very loud. Yeah, this is very loud. It's almost ready to come out. That's bad. See how quick it is? I'm gonna need something. Oh, I'll put it over here. I just need a paper towel. Okay. Paper towels. Paper towels are always in season. Come. Yeah. You clean this up and put them out. Make sure there's no water. Yeah. Make sure there's no water. No on this water. We don't want any water in this oil. Cause it, cause it will pop. It will really be pop. Yeah, it will be pop on you. <laughs> You don't want to get burnt. No, no we don't want nobody getting burnt. And you see how that looks? Let me get out closer. You see how that looks? Mmm. Ah. I'm going to bring us to this side. This is where the top is. That's the first batch. I brought y'all to see like, the first batch. And they look good. I can't wait to eat them. Mm-hmm. Don't forget to click that button, like, yep. share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Good, good. And if y'all want to see us cooking other things, let us know. In the comments below. Oh, we're going to try to fry the um, Oreos. Yeah, we're going to definitely. 
You might make some tickets too. Season them with what you like. Yes, don't just season them because you thought I seasoned them. But you have to season them because you want your food tasting good. Most definitely. Ooh. Got it. It's 3, 3, 12 p.m. Okay. And it's Eastern time. Stay tuned for more videos. I'm so serious and I'm cooking. I don't know. I'm just walking <laughs> close. I'll be serious. I want to get it right. Let me take y'all on a close-up journey. Did you see that? Mm. I don't want to get too close and burn myself. And we're too close and they be trying to eat the camera. <laughs> trying to eat. Throw the camera. Excuse our dog. He don't know how to act around camera. I'm trying to get that gecko. <laughs> we put him out. You definitely want to get a good coating of flour on it because yeah. if you don't, you got to make sure it's thick because then all the flour will be floating around in oil. And then see how a lot of mess to clean up. Girl, no. So, now we're going to do a taste test. They look hot, but it's okay. So I don't know what's going to do. You want to taste it? I'm going to taste that. What's okay? Come on. Mmm. <laughs> Good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do some more seasoning. Yeah, a little bit. Cause I like spice. I thought it was really spicy. Yeah, honey. But it's good. Mm -hmm. Crunchy. This way is better with the batter. Crunch? It's better with the batter than just the flour. But it's good. I like it. Mm -hmm. Great job. Next one. Oh, it's good. Oh. <laughs> Positive. Positive. No negativity. No negativity. No positive. If you don't like it, just don't watch it. Yeah. Enjoy your okra. Later.